Hi, my name is Sixto Morales with Hiskawa Motion. I am the regional motion engineer for the Southwest and Mexico territories. Today's topic is going to be how to use the alarm export and import feature within Mavicon's HMI software. Before I begin, I just want to have a little disclaimer. If you hear any noises, it's because I'm at home. Sound travels, even though I have a really nice backdrop there. Okay, let's get on with it. So just to, some housekeeping issues here. So just to find the software, you would go to a search engine, type in yaskawa.com, and hover over products, then motion, and finally come to controller software tools. Once you click that, you'll go to another screen here. And at the bottom is this Mavicon HMI editor software. You click on that link there, take it to another page and kind of give you some brief overview of the software and its features and so forth. Last area here, uh, software, download software, and you'll be taken to this page where you can now download the actual software, 11.6. Um, Okay, so once you download it, install it, run it, and so forth, you'll let's let's get on with uh, doing that here. So HMI Editor software, you see a splash page for Yaskawa's name here, and the build number two. So for this video, I just want to show you the tool itself. There's already a working project here, and where we're going to focus on is under the alarm section. By default, when you create a new project there will be three alarms that are created, the analog alarm, digital alarm, and the digital message alarm. You can add as many alarms as you want to in here. And for this exercise, we added this new alarm bit here. You can see that the name is new alarm 01. And if we expand this, there's a threshold that goes with the alarm. So that threshold is new threshold 01. We've given the alarm text as this is an alarm. And the alarm help is please remedy problem so alarm clears. Very generic. Okay, let's get on with doing this here. So we can do, uh, we'll go up here to the menu button, hit tools, and click on the CSV alarm importer exporter. It'll bring you to this screen here. Very important, this next step. <clears throat> click on options on the right hand side. Because by default, this will uh, select tab. You don't want tab because it doesn't really work in a, as a CSV fashion. So if you click on the down arrow, the second one here, and it's hard to see, it is a comma. So click on that and say OK. Now let's click on export. When you first do this, the first, the first when you first get to this screen, this will all be empty. So you click on the three dot button. Find the project within your folder and click on the name. You're looking for this .movalr file. Let's open. And now it's going to create two files. It's going to create the name of the project, under, or whatever you name it, underscore alarms, and also the name of the project, underscore threshold. So two files here. So I'll click on the three dot button again. And we'll give it a quick name here. Let's just say test alarm and say open. And when you click on the next button here, you will see, you should see, the four alarms that are in the project have now shown up in the list here. You can select all of them or just one. Uh, you click on the finish button. And this goes through, it says it's beginning to export. It's exported all four alarms and the export is done. Good news. So we can exit here. Now let's go find those files. So go to your projects. If you're using Windows 10, I don't know the path, just find the project. In Windows 7, it's documents, Mavicon project, and then you find the name of the project here. You can see here we have the name of the project, or I'm sorry, the name of the file that we created is test alarm. Uh, we can open this test alarm CSV and 
we'll get to what the structure, what does it look like here? So we can highlight all this and double click on this last column. All right, we've got the digital alarm, a digital message, analog alarm, and new alarm 01. Let's just shrink this a little bit here. So this is the alarms.csv file. Let's look at the threshold. And okay, well, this is the threshold file here. Oh, yeah, I should be able to do 3.1 here. Boom, boom. Whatever. Okay, let's open up this, and you can see that the alarm, the thresholds go with the alarm itself. So if we look at the digital alarm, you've got your, your digital message and analog alarm. There should be the new threshold that comes in here, different from the file. From the alarms page. The alarm, the just alarms page is going to say the new alarm 01. And then the thresholds file goes with what actually happens to trigger that alarm. Remember our very helpful alarm text. This is an alarm. And the help for that alarm is please remedy problem. It will show up in the thresholds.csv folder or file rather. Let's open up some of these here and see. Oh, here we go. So here are the uh, thresholds that go with the analog alarm. The four that are there. Okay. To import, so that was exporting. To import, it's really a repeat of what we just went through. The importing then, typically if you have a list of alarms that you already want to use, you could then follow the same structure here. In this case, let's just go ahead and create alarm two. So new, now we're, we're, so we are in the thresholds file. New alarm zero two. Zero two. This is alarm two. Please remedy problem two. So alarm cleared. So alarm two cleared. All right. We're going to save this as the threshold. Same name. We're going to save it as the threshold name. Okay. Yes, that's fine. And we also need to go back to the alarm CSV file. Because remember, we're taking all this here, and really we should go all the way out to where that is there. Bring it in. Alarm 2. Save. Yes. And just for, I just want to make sure that everything was okay in this uh, threshold file. I don't know if we did everything. Uh-huh, look at that, we did not. I got up to the column L, but you should highlight everything. So let's go all the way out to where it stops here. We're gonna hold onto the control key and click and drag and just make the copy. All right, let's save that one. Okay, and we'll close, fine, yes. Say save, sure, let's just replace it. Yes, again. All right. So if you remember, we have our four alarms here. We added another one. So let's go import those alarms. So back up to tools. CSV of alarm importer, exporter. Can you guess where we're gonna go? Good, we'll go import. Uh, it should still be the same file, but uh, let's just make sure we, we have it here. So let's do single axis 7, demo 01. That's under the Movicon Projects uh, folder there. Yes, I'll replace it because we're going to overwrite it. Go back in here, and we want to find the two files. So you notice on the import area there, it's asking us for two CSV files. The alarms. Notice this, alarm 02 is in there. We're open, and the threshold. And if all works well, the next button ah, will show the new alarm. You select all of them. If we select all, I believe it will overwrite the other one. You could just choose to do the one since we already exported it, but I'm just going to show it for giggles, I guess. Finish. Ah, alarm, digital alarm already exists. I'm going to overwrite. I'm just going to say yes to all. 
No harm done. All five have now been imported. And when we exit, it'll ask you, do you want to reload the whole project? Yeah, I do. And any takers for a bet that it worked? I hope so, because the five is there. So good. New alarm two is in there. This is an alarm two. Please remedy problem two, so alarm two clear. I hope this video has been helpful, and I hope you get to use the alarm export and import tool from Yaskawa's Mavacon HMI software. This is Sixto Morales. Until next time.